I really hope you guys wouldn't mind me wearing my glasses but my eyes are hurting right now and I can't wear my contact lens so I can't see a thing and the last thing that I would want is that the video is not recording. I have to make sure that the video is recording at all times hence why the glasses are here to stay. And also sorry if there's gonna be like a lens for that but I'll try to look down all the time okay just you know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for a new video. Wow, looking down is really actually, it's very difficult. Today's video is gonna be more of like a fashion slash styling video which is something that I had always wanted to film. And today's the day. So it's actually gonna be a one brand only. So I'm only gonna try things from one brand. And today's brand is actually a Korean local brand which is called Little Hazel. I will leave the link to their website in the description. <laughs> I will leave the link of their website in the description box below so if you want to check it out just you know where to check you know where to click okay can you see the box over there yeah i'm gonna unbox it right now also if you like this sort of video definitely give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to um subscribe to my channel let me get the box Alright, I think most of the items here right, are things that I wouldn't normally wear which is what I'm trying to do more often now. I just want to get out of my comfort zone and don't just wear what I would normally wear, you know. A lot of the items here are pretty interesting, I would say. So I hope that kept you a little bit more excited. Let's open this up. Wait, let me just take a thumbnail picture first. I love making stupid faces. <laughs> that is not me, I'm like... But just smile for in case safety. <laughs> Do I cut it? Let me just get everything out. Alright, so the first item that we'll be trying <laughs> is actually this skirt. Looks pretty promising. Love me a good nude bottoms. As you all know, I love having this sort of like nude camel tone, beigey bottoms because it just goes so well with every top. Let's try it on, shall we? So I know you all probably would have known by now but I just realised that I dropped my earrings and I didn't know. Wow, classic! But this is how the skirt looks like. I love the length of it. Okay, there's pocket. Good thing because you know when you take OOTD pictures, your hand just gets so awkward. I mean for me at least, my hand gets awkward. So I always need to have pockets. It's kind of like a wrap style. Have to like wrap and unwrap. It opens up like this. It's definitely more sophisticated kind of look. This top goes well with this too. Just add a pair of loafers, which I don't think so you can see. Can you see? Look, just I'm just gonna wear this with loafers. So this is another way, right? So this is another way that I would wear this skirt. I will put on like a statement, I mean like a popping color kind of top. Like for example, this red. I really love pairing um red with nude bottoms. I just think it looks so like Wow. And I like how this kind of cinches up here at the top. Also, do take note that this skirt, this material, they do crease up really easily. But so far, it's still so good. And for bags, if I want to feel more safe and tone it down, I would wear this bag. But if I still want to go full on with the whole color popping thing, this actually works really well too. I love how mustard yellow goes with red. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I actually prefer yellow. And I will wear this with loafers if I want to go for the whole classy look and sneakers if I want to like make it more casual. I wouldn't wear my white sneakers instead. I would actually wear this to tone it back down because white sneakers, I don't think so it will go well together because the buttons here are black so white wouldn't go well with it. Alright, next we have shoes. I've actually got two shoes. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Can you see? Oh my gosh! We've got boots! Look at it! I can't wait to try it. I just really hope that it fits because I didn't even measure. I just went for the larger size because my leg is huge. I feel like Korean people, their shoes, I mean their sizes are a bit more smaller so I literally just went for the bigger size. If it's too big, I can wear like thicker socks, you know, to fill in the spaces. But let's try this on. Oh my gosh, how should I wear this? Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Oh, they don't have zippers. Am I literally just gonna stuck my leg into this tiny hole. I don't think so my leg can fit. Are there anything stuffing? Okay, there's stuff stuffing in there. No wonder, don't panic. Oh my gosh, please just fit. This is literally the biggest size. I'm like sweating right now. Wait, wait, let me just take it slow. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not patient. 
I'm literally like Cinderella's stepsister just trying to fit in to the shoe. Alright guys, look at these shoes. Oh my gosh, I freaking love that. Okay, I was just being a little bit dramatic just now. When I put this shoe on, it was actually way easier because I sat on a chair. Like how you are supposed to wear a shoe, you, you sit on a chair, not the floor. Yeah, it was... Like within 5 seconds, so <laughs> sorry about that little drama drama. Just to let you know, I've managed to put it on within 5 seconds when I sat on a chair. So it's actually just my problem. I love the sound it makes. It reminds me of Totally Spice. You know when the girls like in the mission, they have their boots. I feel like I'm one of them and I'm so happy about it. I'm like so excited for this shoe, I don't know why. Even with this outfit, this just goes so well. It stops at the perfect length. The height is just nice. You won't feel like you're wearing, like you won't suffer like, basically. Everything is nice and stuff, but it would be so much nicer if the if the top here, if the tip here is like sharp. Yeah. Also, Little Hazel actually has another version which is like 18 heels. I think this is pointy, I'm not sure. So after ordering my stuff, the next day I went back to their website and I saw that they just um, uploaded the product, the new products. They have so many more new products, so many more shoes and I was so gutted, I was so bummed. I would have picked the thinner heels one but this is still so nice. So I picked up this dress, it's like a baby doll kind of dress. Again, it's something that I wouldn't wear but you know, let's just try different style. Hey guys, so I just wanna pop in and say that I didn't realize that it wasn't recording. I know it's kind of expected but it's also like unexpected but anyway this dress i really really love it i actually wore it out a few days ago and i absolutely love it it looks really like quirky cute and fun it's just like a button up baby doll style ish that is why it's like really really white at this waist area it's meant to be like that like a baby doll dress and i love it when i was filming this video i actually showed you me wearing it another way wait let me just put this on right so this wasn't the exact belt that i wore when i was filming filming it that is why it looks so weird right now but i basically just wore a black belt and just really like cinch in at this waist area and just you know open up a few buttons if you are feeling more like sexy and adventurous but you still want to look cute but i actually think it doesn't look as good right now i'm not sure maybe like a different color belt like a brown or something else but definitely not a black so yeah i've changed my thoughts about it i think it will work just fine even without the belt definitely changed my mind about that but that is all let's just go back to the to the day we were filming yeah. so i have another shoes here um can you guess can you just guess this is a long oh my gosh this is so long i wasn't expecting it to be this long look <laughs> I love boots. I feel like when I was younger, I loved boots so much. Like, I just love wearing boots. I'm pretty sure a lot of us girls feel the same way too. Even guys, I'm pretty sure when we were younger, we were just so into boots. And I feel like my love for boots now is slowly coming back. I'm sorry for all the mess that's around, but it's really hectic right now. So, um, I put on the boots. Boots. <laughs> I love the length of it. It's longer than I thought it would be. But it was really easy to get in. <laughs> no worries. The thing is that it does feel a little bit itchy Maybe because it's hot here so it's like sweating and stuff But I think if you're in like a cold and comfortable surrounding It wouldn't feel that way I'm not too sure about that square tip over there I don't know I'm not too sure about that actually It's already really long at the bottom So I would keep it short at the top And this is how I would wear it Now I know the safe choice is definitely to go for like all black or a black top or something but I feel like there will be that would be like too much black going on you know not that I'm against black color or anything if you pair black let me just bring you an example if you wear black it's gonna be like too much right so what I would do is I will wear a different color top and with a hint of black just to like sink it a little bit I wouldn't add another belt although it looks good but I feel like a superhero now so I'm not going for that look you know with the whole boots and belt thing nah, nah. it looks good but I'm not going for that today I don't have a lot of clothes to show you as example but I'm sure if I have a lot of clothes I would like show you all the different ways that I would like pair these boots with but this is the best that I can get <laughs> safe 
As much as I love these boots, I still prefer that one. It's more bearable. It's never a complete haul without accessories. So I've picked up two and this is actually a style that I had always wanted to own. Tada! Oh wait. It's so hot in here that I might actually die. I should like just open the window. To those like jewellery lovers, you would have seen this style a lot. It's just like a nice statement piece. And the last pair is actually another statement earring. Oh, these are huge. These are like those that you'll find in Zara or Mango. It's like a really, really huge one, which I love. <laughs> I love statement earrings. They actually don't feel heavy. I mean a little bit, yeah. But it's not as heavy as it looks. So these are my second pick. Ooh, they are quite long. <laughs> I think I'll just end this video with my earrings on. <laughs> so this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed filming this actually. Despite all the mess that I have to clean up later. Yep, plastics everywhere. Definitely let me know if y'all want me to do more videos like this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I would love to have you over there. I'm really trying to reach 10,000 followers. <laughs> yeah, of course I want to put swipe up links on my stories. And I really do put in effort in my pictures, my OOTDs, and I Insta story a lot. So yeah, that is it. Um, I will see you in my next video. Bye!